what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel and before we go any further let me say happy father's day to all the fathers out there that are watching if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button down there in the corner uh help me grow this channel as i try to introduce new baits uh old techniques and some good fun uh Again, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. If you're looking for an awesome Father's Day gift, I know that as this video is being posted, you guys are probably going to be watching this the day after Father's Day. But nonetheless, this will still make a great Father's Day gift for those, especially if you couldn't find anything for uh, that father in your life. But you know that he likes to fish. But... Uh, you couldn't find the right thing to get him, so why not just get him one of these? It is the Monster Bass Bag for bass fishing. Inside these bags, you will get a ton of fishing lures uh, specifically for bass fishing, but we do offer uh, boxes that are for ice fishing and pan fishing. So if you have that one person who goes out and likes to fish ponds or small rivers, uh, maybe you want to get them the, the panfish. It has different lures for catching bluegill, crappie, as well as bass. So that's always a good option for that person who just likes to go out, get on the water, and try to catch some fish. Uh, if you're looking for a specific fishing, I would recommend getting the bass, uh, monster bass bag for that one person. Uh, if you sign up for the subscription, enter the code SAVE10, save you $10 on your first month subscription. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this month's bag for June. And June, you know, we're in the summertime, guys. So for a lot of us, that means getting out early on the water and getting that morning bite. So for June... The, the folks over at Monster Bass said, let's do a top water bag. So here we are with uh, June's Monster Bass bag for top water. Sorry guys, my, my bag has been in the boat and it's hot here in Arkansas. So my plastic has started sticking to my, my card and stuff. So I apologize for that. But here we go. Starting off with the Monster Bass Patriot. 3.0 this is the package for the monster bass 3.0 as you can see the plastic is starting to deform uh, the color is called ghost blue and I've actually got it tied on right here on my six gill topwater rod uh, this was one of the first lures that Rick made when he started monster bass was the Patriot which it's a topwater walking bait this is the 3.0, so I'm saying I'm guessing that means this is his third revision to it. But as always, he's got the red hook here on the front, which uh, imitates a wounded bait fish. He added the feathered treble hook on the back, which gives it just a little bit more action and kind of imitates that tail again with a little bit of red in there, which could in, uh, imitate some injuries. As you can see, it's a translucent. You can see through it. You've got three beads here. That's for weight. So whenever you go to cast it, those three beads will hit that tail and it'll help launch that bait out because when you're fishing top water, you want to get distance between you and your bait. So the further you can get that bait out there and get it away from your boat, the better it is as you're working it, the fish won't see your boat or even feel that vibration from your trolling motor and get spooked off. So they've got three, I don't know, medium size uh, beads in there for to help you with that, the weight distribution to get that distance. And then in this chamber, they have two more beads, which I'm assuming helps balance the lure when it's sitting on the water. So it's not tail end down, and then it's not sitting nose down. It's kind of balanced to sit there, and it helps with that walking action. But that's the Six Gill Patriot uh, 3.0. That This is actually new for 2021. And this comes in 
at ten dollars so there's ten dollars right there next up we have the z-man leapfrog and that one is right here it is z-man's hollow body frog uh, just pushing on the plastic uh, the plastic of the frog is very soft so that's gonna help when those fish bite down that plastic will compress so that way you get a good hookup uh, when it comes to frogs I've heard people argue to bend your hooks out for better hookup and I've heard people argue to leave them laying flat how they are because that helps it uh, be a little bit more weedless if you're throwing it in the grass you experiment with that how you want uh, if you've already experimented with that drop a comment and let me know which one worked better for you with the hook points pointed up and did you get more hookup ratios hook penetration or is it better to leave your hooks laying flat against the body so that way it's more weedless so just drop a comment let me know which one works better for you and what you think but that one comes in at eight dollars right there and then next we have the Thunderhawk uh, Buzz Toad this is the package right here in fact there's a picture of it right there on the back uh, what this is it looks more like an inline buzz bait and it comes with a soft body plastic frog and uh, I've actually got that one tied on here and it comes with that hook right there which I'm thinking that hook is about a 4 aught EWG hook and uh, the plastic that it came with I actually tore mine when I was fishing with it the other day but the great thing about this uh, Thunderhawk uh, Buzz Toad is you can use any uh, soft plastic toad that you like so whatever you, Strike King uh, Z-Man uh, Zoom whatever bait company you like you can take that soft plastic uh, frog and throw it on this and it's gonna work just fine and that one comes in this and this is an exclusive color that came with that um, and it, it doesn't say on the package well no no it does watermelon watermelon chartreuse pepper frog so that is a very interesting color um, if you if you like these Thunderhawk products go to thunderhawklures.com and you can order their stuff directly from them uh, I'm really excited about Thunderhawk because Thunderhawk is made in a town right here in Arkansas so if you're familiar with Searcy Arkansas that's where Thunderhawk is being made at uh, it is a bit of a drive for me to get there but one of these days if I got some time I will try to get there and see what other lures they got but in the meantime thunderhawklures.com is where you need to go or I'm pretty sure you can get these by going to the monster bass store and this comes in at seven dollars for the Thunderhawk bus toad and now we're on to the vicious popper which this is your packaging this is what the package looks like this is the v-pop 80 the length it comes in at 80 millimeters it weighs three quarters of an ounce uh, this color that I got which I got it right here I had it tied on to my top water and then I took it off and that's when I put on the uh, that Patriot uh, Oh, okay there we go so this is the bone color and again they put the uh, feather treble hook it helps with the action uh, this is a good popping bait and I also noticed when I was fishing it the other day it's a good walking bait uh, if you give those quick twitches it walks really good but then at the same time you can slow it down and give it you know more of a hard subtle twitch and it has a good popping with the way that mouth is designed it catches a lot of water and spits it makes a good gurgling and bubbling sound so really really good lure uh, unfortunately that trip that I was out I didn't catch anything it was really really hot that day so I didn't stay out very long and I just wasn't able to get on the fish that day but the spot that I was in I have caught fish there before so I do know that they're there I just I just didn't get on them but uh, this one this is new for 2021 
and this one comes in at eight dollars also okay <laughs> next we're moving on to one of my favorites it's another frog but the reason this is my favorite is the name look at that name fat bastard this is the fat bastard frog this is pyro pete and the reason they call him pyro is because the fire design in him uh he comes in at 15 grams 60 millimeters uh again you work this frog like you do any other well the the way the mouth is designed it has a little bit of a concave mouth so it could work as like a hybrid between a top uh, a walking frog and a popping frog so it's probably just going to be depending on how you twitch it whether you're popping or walking but either way this is this is going to be a good lure uh this one oh this the pyro pete is a limited edition color so if you want to get this you might want to hurry up you can go to fatbastardfrogs.com to get these and this comes in at eight dollars next going to the stanley ribbits stanley ribbits is nothing new we've had these in monster bass before but it's kind of cool that they gave you these and the thunderhawk buzz toad because you can match these up and fish it together so this color here it says assorted colors in the package it has a bluish belly with a black top with some black blue and silver flake in it so that'd be I should I should throw this cuz where I was fishing at the other day on the Arkansas River what we call little Maumelle River is a little creek that comes off of Maumelle Lake and drains into the river the water was very muddy so I probably should have threw this and see if that would have helped me get some of those bites because the muddy the water was muddy but this one comes in at five dollars for the Stanley rivets and next we're on to the big bite baits buzzing war mount now this lure here this is a Dean Rojas lure uh, these lures, they're top water. What you do is you can rig these up on a non-weighted swim bait hook, or if you have the uh, the frog hooks, you can probably rig it up on that as well. But if you'll notice, I don't think you'll be able to see it, but right there where my finger is at on that one, there is a T on these lures, and the package tells you rig T side up. So whichever side you're looking at, if you see a T on there, you want that side up on top of the water. And this is just like the uh, buzz toads and stuff. You throw them out there, you reel them in, the feet kick on top of the water to make a gurgling sound and just call those fish in. Uh, really cool looking color. War Party is the name of the color and it comes in a pack of four. So um, I was throwing one of these think I still had it on my swim bait setup but I don't know where that rod is at well yeah I see it but I don't have it on there so but uh, the buzzing war mouth comes in at four dollars and fifty cents and the last thing we had in here is a pack four pack of three opt uh, mustad hooks uh, EWGs and they're the red ones. So again, uh, the red will indicate uh, wounded bait fish to kind of help draw those fish in to you. And as always, you get a monster bass sticker, and they included a card, a ten dollar gift card to use at Monster Bass. So not only do you get great lures, you also get uh, gift cards to other places, uh, sunglasses, and other things. So, again, if you're looking for that uh, Father's Day gift, Christmas gift, or just something to just say, hey, I'm thinking about you, why not get somebody a Monster Bass bag? Uh, when you sign up, it's about $35, but in your savings, you've got about 50 to 60 dollars worth of lures here if you went to the store and all of these things have been priced off of tackle warehouse so 
it'll help you out sign up for monster bass and save you some money that's all i got and until next time see you guys later